Hello, everybody. Welcome inside Soaring Eagle. Obviously, an air of excitement in here, and for good reason. Mitch Lawrence alongside the Black Widow, Jeanette Lee. This is what it's all about, Jeanette. You know it. The finals for the major event on tour, the Masters, the first tournament of 2012, and two Hall of Fame players going after the title. A little bit different place in their personal journey right now, let's call it. Allison Fisher and Ava Lawrence. One person will be left at the end of this match that will be able to call themselves the WPBA Masters champion. Yeah, first of all, before we even talk any more about it, how are you feeling, <laughs> Mr. Ava? Proud, proud husband of the finalists. How are you feeling? I, going am, into this? I am thrilled. I am happy. I am excited. I am nervous. I think I'm all the things that my wife probably is at this moment, and both of us are going to try to calm down enough to do our jobs, Ms. Lee. That's right. You know, Ava has not been in the finals since 98, and she actually won in that final against Allison Fisher. And I think that she's going to really hold on to that tightly as she comes in here and really tries to do some damage to Miss Fisher. Yeah, there's a lot of history between the two of them. We'll mm -hmm. get to it during the match. Right now, it's time to find out who's going to be the 2012 WPBA Masters champion. Let's get to it. A look at our Aramith, a road to the final as Allison Fisher and Ava Lawrence get ready to do battle for the title. Ava with a big victory over Guy Young Kim, number one ranked player in the world. Allison with a terrific victory over number six ranked Kelly Fisher. To the table they come, the handshake. Both of them, great champions. Really good friends. They've known each other a long time. And here is the lag for the opening break. Ava Lawrence, the striking Viking on the left. Allison Fisher on the right. Two left out of 48 that came to Michigan. And it will be Allison with the opening break. Jeanette, as they get ready, keys for the match. What are your thoughts? Ava just got to keep it together. She's got to have confidence in herself. She knows she's made it this far. She knows she's been playing very well. So she's just got to stay confident with herself. Allison's got to do her job. She's got to make sure that she, you know, keeps herself on the correct side of the ball. Sometimes she questions her decisions, but to me, she looks very comfortable. So we've just got to hope Ava's got good opportunities because she's certainly capable of beating anyone at any given time. All right, here we go. Allison to the table, the opening break. Where she wants to be, Ava will be seated and hope for a chance at the table in this opening rack. The finals of the WPBA Masters, here we go. Solid hit. The one cue ball's floating towards the side pocket. She's going to end up straight in on this. Watch out, five ball. Well... She, she has a good look at the one, but I'm not sure that the one ball clears. We'll take a look from the reaction of Allison. Yeah, if the one ball cleared, she'd already be shooting it. So now she's just looking at what kind of safety she wants to play. As she takes a look, we'll give you the rules of this final match. It's a race to seven for the title, a 30-second shot clock with one extension per rack. The winner will break, and it's foul on all balls. She's got to get the cue ball underneath the five without letting the one ball bank back up. Very nice. Does that a good safety to open up? Yeah. She knew she could get the cue ball behind the five, but she needed to hit it soft enough to make sure. All right, one real kick. She's going to try to hit this. She's not trying to hit it. She's trying to make this baby. Good play. That one ball closer to the pocket than Ava would have liked, but a good hit. Right. She Let's hit take another little, look. Right. She hit a little bit lower than she meant to on the one ball. Fortunately, the one ball came around, clipped the two ball, and left Allison very long. Looks like she has a tiny bit of an angle on the one. I'm not sure. She decided to go short side, but she might have come over a little bit too much. Oh, she couldn't do it. She chose to play safe. Two snuggles up to the five. Right. 
and she can actually hit this two ball. And if she sees it, the two ball is laying really well to come off the five in the side pocket if she hits it hard enough. Oh, she chose to play safe. That's a good safe right there. Especially if the five, five ball helps her out a little it. bit. Wow. Another look. Safety is important here in this opening rack. That's right. She decided to let the two ball go where it may. Let me get the cue ball on this end rail. And it ended up really nice. The five ball helped again because it took away one of the side rails for her to kick off of. So now she pretty much has one choice. She's going to hit this long side rail, ten. just like she's looking at. And again, extension gone. You heard Steve Tipton say 10. Allison has to get down and shoot. There it is, Ooh. and misses it. So let's see. Oh. <laughs> that last roll by the eight, the four with the nine. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's take another look at this. Yeah, she was out of time on shooting this two ball, and she barely misses it. But what she did accomplish was to mess up the eight, nine, and four. So now, even with ball in hand on the two, there's no guarantee that she's going to run out. Okay, so remember, Ava, same situation out of the extension opportunity. Things will pick up a little in pace, and this is where... You've got to really trust your knowledge and your, your shot making, Jeanette. That's right. She's going to cut the three ball. This is exactly where she actually wanted to be. It looks like she didn't play position well, but she did. She allowed her cue ball to cut the three ball thinly, which means that her cue ball can travel quite a bit. She's going to go one, two, three rails right into the four nine and hope to break them up. She tried. Good effort. As she gets ready, I'm going to quickly tell you about this great playing equipment, the Diamond Paragon Table in use, the Delta 13 rack, the True Triangle, and beautiful Simonis 860 cloth on that Paragon. That works. Nice safety play by Ava. Allison is now going to come off this side rail and try to hit this 4-8 combination. She wants to hit the top side of the 4 so the 4 can cut the 8 ball in. Okay, can I get my balls jump open up a little bit. Jump cue for Ava. Here we go. Likely the key shot in this rack. Now well, that those the, balls are open. Yeah, the bad thing is, if she jumps over and makes the four ball in the corner pocket, the cue ball can possibly scratch in this side pocket. Cutting the four ball to do a jump shot and try to cut the four ball in the side pocket lets the cue ball loose. It's also super difficult to hit a ball that thin with that level of accuracy, <laughs> elevated and jumping. Oh my gosh! Question is, where's that cue ball going between the eight and the seven? How hey, about it? We'll take it. How about it? Another look for sure. All right, jumping over this ball. Super thin cut. Let's the cue ball loose a little bit, but she made the ball. She's got to hit this with a little bit of inside English because otherwise she's in danger of scratching. It's such a thin hit. The cue ball wants to go back down towards that. Ooh. She hit that ball really thick. Oh. Left Allison a perfect shot on Allison the five. Allison quickly to the shape. table, yep. She definitely looked rushed on that shot. Sometimes a function of that shot clock can kind of get underneath everything that's going on she actually got more, more draws she wanted, yep. that's right she wanted to punch into the side rail a little bit of draw but more english than draw instead she got more draw than english which brought the cue ball back very low she, she's going to be cutting the seven ball a bit she's still fine but it's not exactly where she wanted to be looking good now that nine by the short rail all her work in front of her.
This was big for Ava to make that other shot instead of letting Allison get comfortable here. She's really got an opportunity to have some nice, easy shots to begin with. And that nine, Allison Fisher off to a one-rack early lead. Over the years, we've gotten to know so much about Allison Fisher in a Hall of Fame career, but there's always time to learn a little bit more. Let's go now behind the queue. Well, I've worked hard on, on I think I've become a fitter person. You know, I, I treat the game very seriously. I eat sensibly, you know, when at events, when away from the table. So, you know, I try and do the best that I can in order to get a good performance. This event, I've played really consistently, and I think coming into the television match, I probably had the best performances of the four players involved. I've worked on different aspects of my game, like my breaks improve significantly, and that's a big deal when you're playing against the big breakers. You know, I've been playing all these years, and to keep finding improvements is a nice thing, and to, to have the desire to keep improving is a nice thing. I love to win events, and it's really not about the win. It is, the victory's lovely, but it's really if you play well. If you, if you can reach a great performance, and you're happy with the performance all the way through the tournament, to me, that's where I'm really satisfied with a victory.